think, Ida B. Wells. It's August 17th, 1920. Granddaddy was a white man who impregnated a black slave named Peggy. I took a seat in the first class lady's car and was reading a book when the conductor came by to collect tickets. I handed him mine, but he handed it back and said he wanted to treat me like a lady, but I would have to move to the colored car. I replied, if you wish to treat me like a lady, you will leave me alone. I had just turned 15 years old when Master Thomas took a hold of my arm and asked me to guess what was in his jacket pocket. I had no idea. He told me to close my eyes and open my hand. I opened my eyes to see a beautiful gold and red barrette. Every time he gave me a gift, Master Thomas always told me, shh. Fifteen years old. I was no longer a little girl. A new hat, or rather a bonnet, was thrown into the presidential race today, that of Shirley Chisholm. <laughs> that was how the anchorman, Walter Cronkite, led off the CBS Evening News on January 25th, 1972. From the start, I was met with hostility because of my gender, including some women. I told them, if you can't support me, and you can't endorse me, then get out of my way. I stand before you today as a candidate for the Democratic nomination for the presidency of the United States of America.